Let's go back to second notion because I believe now we can get into the final area of the final part of the post game. So we have to go back to the, the other professor's hideout. Um, so we're gonna... Are we on second notion already? Okay. I thought we were up on, on the foundation for whatever reason. I think I could just exit via this door. And that will be extra good. Yeah. Alright, so... And I, I believe there's only uh, two GS campaigns left. And I will get them along the way. Yeah, so I... Oh, okay, so I actually have to go back up there because, um, Roy is on the foundation. Okay. And that will clear out that, uh, GS campaign. I don't think I get uh, anything really that great for it, but... You know, since we're, we're going for 100% at this point... I didn't want to go to the Omega system. Damn you, menuing. It's a foundation, okay. And then the next quest, I'll, I'll complete in the next dungeon, so that'll be, uh, Just all this, this back and forth that I have to do. At least all of this stuff is eliminated in the third game. You really can't go back and forth in that one. It's just like, okay, this is the area you have to work in at this point, and that's all you have to do. Although they, they do have the EBS simulator, so you can go back to home areas, but it, it's mostly like, you know, Dragon Quest stuff, oh, you can go back, but you don't have to... Like, like, like with Dragon Quest, you just cast the teleport spell or, or whatever they... I think they call it Zoom in, in the uh, English translation now, but... Uh, just cast that one and you're able to go to the places you visited before to collect items. It's not this obnoxious back and forth between the foundation and, and uh, second milk and everything. It does extend the episode, but that's not really what I want to do. I wonder how much uh, time I could cut out if I if I had just uh, cut out all this uh, wandering to begin with. It reminds me of when I was like playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and I didn't have video editing software. I had to leave the yeah, loading screens in, and it's like a two-minute loading screen every time. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is the item from my memories. Huh? You want to see it? I'd really rather not show it. I mean, it's, well, it's a naughty little book. Here, take this instead. Alright, we get a uh, six skill upgrade ease, which I will uh, keep the she on. We're done here. When you hurry up and go, I'm going to get a little naughty for the first time in 50 years. Hit, <laughs> hit, Okay. Whatever you say, man. 
I mean, they, they've got them back in the the, the ship with uh, Cody in, 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 in the uh, boys' dorm or whatever. One of those jokes, like, if you ever play the uh, original Secret of Mana, there's uh, one of these book enemies that, that has, like, these random things that pop up in it. One of them is just a pinup bottle, but it's like a super rare animation that pops up. But then they removed it from the uh, remake, but I wasn't really fond of the remake, and that's not the reason why. I, I just think that that game had, you know, I wasn't actually a fan of Super of Mana to begin with. Um, I think it has some good ideas, but at the time, it kind of has like the, the problem that the um, first couple of tales of, you know, games have, is that uh, it pauses the action while you're casting spells and everything. Which really slows down combat. I, I guess that the, the systems couldn't handle it back then. Uh, so we gotta go back to Second Notion now. Which one was the, the first Tales game where it didn't pause the action uh, anymore? I think that's a uh, problem with the um, first two stars as well. Although I never played the second one, I should probably pick up that remake or something to, to play it. But yeah, you, people used to always rave about that when it came out the first time, and I was like, you know what, I want to play that game, but then I never got around to it, and then, you know, the next generation of systems rolled out. And I think uh, Xenosaga Episode 1 was the first game that I picked up when I got a PS2. So I got... $600 back on my tax return or something. I was like, yeah, I'm going to use it to buy a PS2. Uh, yeah, so we're going in here. Sector 1, please. Then I don't know what else I got. I know I got, a uh, like, Metal Gear Solid 2 or 3 and, um, I'll guess it's in all three of those Grand Theft Autos that came out. Um, I got Wild Arms 3, 4, and then 5, like, I got it at the end of, um, actually, I think I got a 360 before I got a Wild Arms 5, but I never actually got to play through that game in its entirety. I'm going to have to do that someday. Alright, so we're, we're able to go to the final area now. Oh yeah, I forgot to, to feed those to see them. And this is Heaven's Ruins. It's not a very complicated dungeon. I believe some enemies pop out of these and then there's loot and other ones. But I don't remember which, so I'm just going to break all of them. And it doesn't matter anyway, she ought to evaporate everybody. Loot! Okay, we got a biosphere. You know what? I can I can just uh, use those, right? No enemies. Strange. And we get uh, medkit in. So there were only two pieces of loot there and no enemies, so I was wrong about the enemies. So this is a uh, somewhat weird dungeon. Alright, there's a seat point up there, but uh, if, you, if you saw the door, it's got like multiple and full of shit on it, so... What I have to do is bake with these guys down here. Uh, I can remember which uh, set of song episode one. I don't know, they're like some Eastern European mythology stuff. I don't even know how to pronounce their names. I'm taking you down. 
and these are just uh, enemies from the last dungeon. Um, yeah, let's just stop. Oh, I'm out of boost. Okay. Um, let's get some more boost in our. What was she on? I think we could do this without um, casting either spear. Yeah, we got it. Double skill points for the win. So predictable. No problem. And you know what? There's a safe point back there. But I also want to loot this place. Alright, so more skill upgrades. So let's uh, feed those to Xion. Does, does she have uh, enough? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I want to pick this stuff up. That's right. Oh, you know what? I forgot about this. Um, yeah, this is stock one. I was actually going to show this off before I started, but this is stock one, so, um, this is back in the dam room, and I, I should actually show that off at some point, how to get that, because I, I totally forgot about it, I just put the Evan Brew, and I was like, ah, yes, this is the way, I guess I'll pick that up before I go uh, vaporize the, the super bosses, just to show where you get it, and, and I just skipped over it, because I, I didn't even think about it when, um, uh, I was doing that area. What's down here? I'll come back to that guy in a second. Oh. I have to destroy that. Okay. That's gonna take me like an hour to get through this. Um, this is... This is Thunder. Everything he does is Thunder. This is Perrin. Um, so he is actually weakest against Aura. Okay, so we've got a Chaos. Um, I'm actually going to try to, to just fight him straight up. And so. Hmm. What about your. Okay, Pure Slash and Hit are all at 85%, so it doesn't matter. Um, and the physical and stuff. But I can't get, like, uh, rejuvenators out of this guy, so. Okay. Um, let's, let's get some boost in us. Unleash a fragment of that power. And. I guess let's go with, uh, I don't know, let's just go with those most at this point. Alright, so, um... I actually wanted to show this off, so we're gonna get uh, Thunder Nails going for Thunder Wall. I probably should've put on a Thunder Coat as well. That'll take some of the sting out of his actual attacks here. Well, we're gonna approach this like any other uh, battle. Okay, um, that's an interesting break though. But I also want to steal from him because I want that rejuvenator.
So I'll have uh, Junior try to steal from him. What do you do? Um, so let's, let's get an attacker going, and then you'll need four sword. Unleash your dragon. Alternatively, you could just cast a Lord Sword and uh, evaporate this guy with uh, Urtikaiser Fury, but um, that just seems a little cheap. Alright, we got a skill upgrade B, but I'm looking for the, the Rejuvenator actually. Oh, he's, he guarded his own cast, so he got less healing out of it. Oh, you know what? I need to boost more than, um... Elemental Energy Overload, okay. We need to cast some boost. Alright, so we've booted him. Unleash your fragment of that power. The Zeus Cannon, that really hurt, actually. Um, not a fan of that. But the healing was good. Alright, so let's, uh, oh, I need more boost, so let's get that up first, and then start uh, buffing for, for maximum damage. Unleash your fragment of that power. Or sword, but you're probably going to need to put attacker back up, so... I'm a little disorganized on this. Unleash your fragment of that power. So you get 200% more damage from Aura, and 150% more from, uh, Fiend. So let's uh, just go to, to Junior, and your break zone is CBD. And then, yeah, that's, that's fine. So we're gonna down him. Ah, oh, fucking power boost, are you serious? Again? What the fuck is wrong with him? Useless now, Chaos, because I, I just... Oh my god, he's gonna counter boost again. What a dick! You gonna counter boost now? Oh, we lost our attacker.
Unleash a fragment of that power. Oh, it's not going to give it to me. God damn it. You're going to be okay with chaos? Oh, he's going to heal himself. Okay. What a jerk. This guy's just being a jerk. gonna heal himself again and then boost over my boost because that's fair. Right, I'm gonna have to hit him really hard to take him out. So. You know what? Do I even have that? Um, what's it called? Um, the ceiling ability. I think it's Misty. So yeah, um, blocking his abilities would probably be better. Um, I'm not gonna try to hit him. This will probably counter boost. And I want to kill him on the, the skill up icon, so... Wow, why is she doing such crappy damage? Oh, I thought the game just crashed. Holy shit. Alright, so we got 2,000 skill points out of that and a level up. So, all's good. And then those things pop up and we have to go break that. So, can I get up there from here? And that actually unlocks one of the, the doors. So we're going to go back in the center because I have to plus something in there. I don't know what it is. Oh, I might have to go through one of these doors on the side. That's right. Okay. Oh, you have just enough, Xion. Okay. Ah, uh, no, if I cast something, it'll, it'll, uh... I won't have enough to cast for a kind of fury. Open 
been in this battle in a long time. Good job, Erdekaiser Fury. So predictable. No problem. Um, are these guys the lowest on levels? Uh, they seem to be, yeah, that seems to be the case. Other than Xion. But you know what? That keeps fucking freezing and shit, so. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, okay, I see. What's down here? Some kind of box of some sort. And there's loot. Secret P31. What does this do? E to open the level 4 class D skill rebound. Alright, 50% chance to counter boost after guard or evasion when using the stock command. Um, I believe counter boost does not use up my boost gauge, so that could be good, but at the, the same time, well, 50% chance is actually pretty good. So I think the only secret key I need is the one for um, the, the stock one ability. Oh, how do how do I get over there? I have to go to the left, I guess. Okay, so we go up from here and be on goddess. So. Okay, so let's just uh, cast Boost One again and see how needs to charge up a little bit more EP. I guess I'll just use a, a biosphere. Thank you. 